Excel is a very popular output format and often we need to generate well formatted Excel output from our Java programs. In this video, we will use Apache POI. For Excel, Apache POI provides you capabilities to programmatically create Excel workbooks, multiple sheets in the workbook, format the sheet with rich formatting options, set formulas, and a lot of other powerful features. In this video, we will create an Excel workbook or a file, create a couple of sheets in the Excel workbook. We will show how to format a row with choice of color, font, etc. We will see how to freeze the top row, how to add a formula. Finally, we will see how to group and collapse a bunch of rows. This should be an exciting video. Let's get started. Here, I have my Spring Tool Suite open. Let's now go to File, New, Other, and from under Maven, choose Maven Project. Choose Default Workspace Location. Click Next. Click Default Archetype of Quick Start and click Next. Let's give the group ID as com.demo and artifact ID as Excel Project. Click Finish. Let's open the pom.xml file. To work with Apache POI, we need to include a couple of dependencies. Let's right click choose Maven, dependencies, and then type POI. Choose the jar. For working with the .xlsx format, we also need to include the POI-OOXML. Right click, choose Maven, dependencies, type POI and let's select the jar for POI-OOXML. So here are our two dependencies included. Right click on the project, choose Maven and then choose update. Let us say our Excel spreadsheet is going to have rows related to invoices. So right click on the package node and create a new class called invoices. Let it have columns like integer item ID, string item name, integer item quantity, double total price, and date, item sold date, when the item was sold. Let's right click, choose source, generate constructor using fields. Let's right click and choose source, generate getters and setters, Select All and then click Generate. Now let's write our program to do the Excel file generation. Right click on the package node, choose New, Class and call it Create Invoices. Click Finish. Let's first start with a Try Catch block. The first step is to create a new workbook. For the .xlsx format, we will create new XSF workbook. For the older .xls format, you can use HSSF workbook. Let's fix the imports. Next, let's create a new sheet in the workbook using workbook.createSheet and name the sheet as invoices. Now, we will create a top header row. Let's create a string array to hold the column names. Let's say item ID, item name, quantity, item price, and sold date. Let's fix the imports and choose the ss.usermodel.sheet. We want our header row to be bold and maybe with a shaded color. So let's create our font for the header row and its style. Let's create a font, header font, as workbook.createFont. Set the header font dot set bold to true. Let's set the font height in points to 12. Let's set the color as indexed colors dot black dot index. Now, let's create a cell style. The cell style contains the styling information which you can assign to a cell. So let's create a header style as workbook.createCellStyle. To this header style, let's set font 
as header font we created earlier. Set its fill pattern to fill pattern dot solid underscore foreground. Set fill foreground color to index colors dot gray underscore 25 underscore percent dot index. Okay, now time to create a header row as is h dot create row with index 0 as the first row starts with index 0. Now we iterate over the column headings to create columns in this row. For int i equal to 0, i less than column headings dot length, i plus plus, we create a cell as header row dot create cell passing in our counter i, which again starts at 0. We set the cell value as the column heading, set the cell style as header style. Great, our header row is created with columns and the required formatting. Next, let's fill the data. Let's create a helper static method which returns an array list of invoices which we call create data. Let's have our IDE generate this method definition for us. Here, I'm creating a new array list. Let me paste a bunch of rows, which is essentially creating new invoices and adding them to the array list. Then I return the array list. Let me fix the imports. It's complaining for the wrong constructor arguments. Oh, I know what's happening. We need Java util date. In the invoices class, we have java.sql.date. Let's change it to Java util date. In a real world application, you might run a database query to fetch this data. Now the workbook provides a creation helper for setting data format, hyperlink, etc. in an HSSF, XSSF independent way. Let's create creation helper by calling workbook.getCreationHelper. Let's create a new cell style for the date as workbook.createCellStyle. To this date style, let's set the data format as creation helper dot create data format. Oh, we forgot to give the variable name here creation helper. So now let's put the data format as creation helper dot create data format dot get format. So now let's put the data format as creation helper dot create data format dot get format and put mm slash dd slash yyyy for dates. Now this date style will be attached to the cells with dates. Now let's set the row num as 1 as the header row with index 0 is already created. Let's run a for loop for invoices getting the invoices in i. For each invoice let's create a row by calling sh dot create row passing in the row num and then incrementing it. Then we create for the row a cell with create cell starting with index 0, setting cell value as i.getItemID. We similarly create cells for item name, item quantity, total price. We create a date cell as row.create cell with index 4. Let's set its value to the invoices item sold date. We assign the style as the date style we had created earlier. We will auto size columns. For this, we iterate over all the columns and call sheet.autosize for that column. And we can create another sheet. Let's name it second. And of course, you can fill that sheet similarly too. Time to write the workbook to an actual file. So we create a file output stream file out as new file output stream, pointing it to a folder location and giving it a name in voice dot xlsx. Using workbook dot write, we write to the file out. We close the file out and then close the workbook. Finally, we do a system out completed. Oh, there are some wiggly lines here. Oh, there is an extra character O here. Let's remove it. Now, it requires us to throw the parse exception. Let's do that. Okay, time to run our program and see the results. Right click and choose run as Java application. It completes successfully. Here in our folder, we see the file. Let's open it 
and of course we see the formatting of the header row and the data. Our sheet is named invoices as we expected. We also see the second sheet second. Now let's see how we can freeze the top row and group and collapse rows. Going back to our code, we freeze the top row by calling is h dot create freeze pane 0 comma 1 passing the row num 1 to freeze. Let's run our application again. Go to the file. Let's make the window smaller so we can see the top row frozen as we scroll. Good, it is working as expected. Let's now add a formula to our sheet. Let's sum up the item price column. To do that, first let's create a new row for this sum. Let's call it sum row, which is at the current row num, which was incremented from the last iteration. Let's create a cell sum row title at index 0. Set its value as total. Give it a style. Let's give it the header style so it becomes bold with a shade. Next, we create a string for the formula as sum since it's column 4 which is the D column. We want to start from the second row as the first row is the header and we want to go to the row num as when you open Excel the rows are displayed starting from 1 and not 0. Now we create a sum using sum row dot create cell at index 3 same as the item price. To the sum cell we set cell formula to str formula. Then let's set the cell value to true which will calculate the formula. And that's it. Let's run our program. Let's open the workbook and here we see the sum of 700. Great. Now let us say we do not want to clutter our display upon opening the sheet with the detailed rows. We want to collapse the details and we just want to display the total. The user, if the user so chooses, can expand the details. So now let's see how we can group and collapse a bunch of rows. Let's obtain the number of rows by calling sheet.getLastRowNum. Since it is 0 based, it will return us 15. Then we call sheet.groupRows passing in the beginning row number as the first row is the header row. And the last row to group is the number of rows, in this case 15. Remember, when we are putting values in this function, it is expecting zero based values, unlike the formula. Then we call sheet.setRowGroupCollapsed passing in the row num to start. The second parameter is whether we want them collapsed, which we are saying true. Alright, let's test this. Let's run our application again. Here we see the output file. We just see the totals first. We can see the plus sign here, which we can expand to see the details. So in this tutorial, we learned how we can use Apache POI to create an Excel workbook, create multiple sheets in there, add formatting, add data, freeze the rows, insert formulas, and then group and collapse rows. Thanks for watching.